All right, so Sami Chan, we're checking the box again. What do we have? Yes, I'm not digging around as much because there, while still are a lot of books, there are fewer books. How about Walt Disney's Bambi, Friends of the Forest? Mm -hmm. So this is probably not the whole story of Bambi. This is just the story of Bambi, Thumper, Flower. <laughs> I'm guessing the very beginning. <laughs> probably. Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Another little golden Disney book. Bambi, Friends of the Forest. Specifically Friends of the Forest, so this is all going to be about the young prince making friends. Yep, and will involve nothing about a particular scene. Yes, just because most Disney characters are orphans means nothing. <laughs> Though Bambi technically is not an orphan because his father was still alive. Mm. I do like the fact that Patrick Stewart voiced him in what was actually a decent prequel. Yeah. Well, it was less of a prequel. It was more of an in betweenquel because that was another thing Disney did a lot is they'd take a section that was covered by one scene or a song and expand it out into a whole nother movie. Like Lion King one and a half. Mm-hmm. And the Tarzan direct to video one. Mm. I believe they got George Carlin <laughs> to play in that one. Mm. But, yeah. Walt Disney's Bambi Friends of the Forest. With no artist or illustrator credits whatsoever. No author or illustrator credits whatsoever, yeah. Mm -hmm. And down the fine print you have by Walt Disney Productions, World Rights Reserved. Produced in the USA. This story is based on Walt Disney's motion picture of Felix Sultan's original story, Bambi, A Life in the Woods. Hmm. Which I bet no one has read. Wake up, everyone! Chirped the bluebird one fine autumn morning. The prince is here! Bambi's friends watched as the handsome fawn walked gracefully down the path. The opossums called out their upside-down greetings, and the squirrel and the chipmunk chattered hello, too. That's nice art, uh, though I do think I see a slight bit of printing error around certain characters. They look a little fuzzy because the colors are slightly shifted. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the illustration is very nice, very akin to the movie. Today Bambi is going to the lake for the very first time, Thumper the bunny explained to the old owl. Then he added proudly, and I will introduce him to the animals who live there. Hmm. That sounds like Thumber. Mm-hmm. Well, I have to wonder what he's been using for water if they've never been to the lake. I'm sure there's streams. Also, most animals actually get a lot of their water from the plants and animals they eat. Mm-hmm. The owl looked down at Bambi and said, Remember what your mother told you, young fellow. Be very alert in the forest, and run away quickly if you ever meet with danger. Bambi listened carefully. For surely his mother, and the wise old owl, knew what was best for him. Hmm. Most of the time, adults do know what's best for you. There are very few times where it's not, but... Oh, I remember them being a little bit more distinct in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> not far away, Thumper's sisters had discovered a small hollow log. Would you like to play too, Bambi? They asked as they raced in one end and out the other. Oh, I'd like to, but I'm too big for that game, Bambi replied politely. Besides, I am very busy. Then Bambi and Thumper came to the burrow where their friend Flower lived. They asked the little skunk if he wanted to join them, but Flower said no. There's a very mean fox in the woods, he warned, peeking out from behind two big daisies. I don't remember Bambi being that polite in that section there. <laughs> I remember him being a little bit more kid-like a lot of the time until the older scenes with the whole Twitter-pated thing. Yeah, and then he was just a dumb teenager. Oh, yeah. Then we were like, oh, we're not going to fall in love or anything. Oh, my God, that girl's cute. Now, Thumper knew that he should be afraid, too. But he had so many things to do today that he just didn't have time to worry about a fox. So off he hopped and Bambi followed close behind as Thumper led the way deeper and deeper into the big forest. Something tells me we're going to encounter a fox. Mm-hmm. Also, these quail look nice. Very nice. Bambi is becoming very brave, said Mother Quail, 
as the fawn pranced by, and her family agreed. Bambi had never before been so far from home, and never, ever before had he been away from his mother. Hmm. I don't remember a scene like that in the movie where he was too far away from the mother. Yeah, but it's a common thing in wild animal stories. When they finally arrived at the lake, Bambi turned to Thumper. It is as beautiful as you said it would be, he said. And then, sounding a bit disappointed, he asked, But where are all the animals? I don't remember him being that articulate. Yeah, I remember him being that articulate in the sequel. Oh. But I've seen the sequel more recently. <laughs> mm. Out of the tall grass came a big green frog. They're here all right, he told them. But they're hiding. That wicked fox was here this morning. And then, with a hop and a plop, he disappeared into the water. Yeah, that's a that's a big frog there. I remember catching frogs as a kid. And toads. A lot mm. of toads. Not I. The animals were there. And they soon came out, one by one, to meet the handsome prince. Mother Duck was the first to appear. She called to her ducklings telling them to come out, too. Bambi was delighted. He had never before seen birds who could swim, nor, for that matter, had he seen birds who could do such special tricks. Very nice drawing. Yeah. And special tricks would be going beak down in the water. Yeah. Oh, that looks cute. Mm-hmm. Bambi stepped back, surprised, as the next animal, a prickly-looking fellow, came waddling out from behind a big rock. Thumper chuckled. Don't worry, Bambi, he said. This is a porcupine. See, he wants to be your friend. Yep, as long as they like you, they're perfectly fine. Mm hmm It's when they don't like you that you have to worry. Next, Bambi met Bernice. He admired her fine, fluffy coat. And then very curious, he asked, Why does she wear a mask? Thumper chuckled again. That's not a mask, Bambi. That's the way a raccoon is supposed to look. Flower! No, no, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although the beavers were busy working, they too came over to meet Bambi. I've seen your father, the youngest beaver told Bambi. He comes here often to take a drink. Hmm, very nice drawings. Very mm. consistent. You know, it's Disney, but still. Yeah. Even Disney has its moments. Emperor's New Groove TV show, cough. Oh, boy. Bambi was just taking a cool, refreshing drink himself when suddenly he heard a chipmunk's loud, nervous chatter. Chee, 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 chee. Run and hide. The fox is near. She had to count. Because I <laughs> didn't want to have to think about it. Yep, there were a lot of chee. <laughs> yeah, lots, <laughs> lots of CHs. <laughs> With a hurry and a scurry, the animals quickly rushed away. But little Thumper, who was so far from his safe, snug home, didn't dare to move. Maybe the fox won't notice me, he thought. Sometimes, yes. It really depends on where you decide not to move. Yeah. Myself would say, Mr. Porcupine, can I hide underneath your soft belly so your spikes on top would protect me? <laughs> Bambi was frightened, too. But he knew that his friend was in worse danger than he was saw the large fox slowly and slyly creeping toward the tiny, helpless bunny. Bambi thought quickly, Surely I can outrun that fox. So, without a bit of hesitation, Bambi leaped between the fox and Thumper. And then, just as Bambi had planned, the fox did start to chase him. That's an odd-looking fox. Quite. Also, do fox hunt deer? That seems a little off. Yeah, especially since... Foxes aren't, even though the baby deer, I don't think they would go after, unless it was a freshly born baby deer, because just a couple of days, they'd be too big for most foxes to really hunt on their own. Through the forest they ran, over logs and bushes and rocks and twigs, with the fox never far behind. Bambi's hooves pounded the ground, his heart beat fast as the fox got closer and closer. It's a mean-looking fox, but it didn't really feel like a fox to me. No, no, it looks a little more like a cross between a husky and a weasel. <laughs> That's a good description. 
Oh, uh, skid marks. <laughs> yeah. And then, at the very moment when Bambi felt he could run no more, a large, powerful stag stepped out from behind a tree. He lowered his majestic antlers and charged. The fox, who was frightened indeed, stopped in his tracks, turned hastily, and dashed off into the woods. He got a whole heaping of nope. Mm -hmm. Breathless, Bambi looked up at the stag. He knew that this must be his father, the mighty king of the forest, whom his mother had told him so much about. Doesn't quite match my memory of him, but... No, but that is close. Just that fox. <laughs> <laughs> the king spoke to his little son. You didn't know it, Bambi, but you are much too young to outrun such a fox, he said in a deep, kindly voice. But I am very proud of you. The bluebird has told me how you helped your friend. That same bluebird also told everyone else what had happened. And by the time the animals arrived at the hill, they saw a very happy Bambi, safe and sound, standing proudly beside his father. That's cute. This is actually nowhere in the movie. Yeah, absolutely not. Nowhere in the sequel either. Thumper, who was the happiest of them all, hopped over to Bambi and looked gratefully up at his friend. Thank you for saving my life, Bambi, he said. You're not only my best friend, but you're my bravest friend, too. That's cute, though the father's face in the background just doesn't quite look right. No, it doesn't quite feel right. He's he's more realistic than the other animals, but there's still just something it, off. It's the way the mouth is. It's like this, it's hard to describe, but basically it's very straight. Yeah, it's basically a flat line. If you took a crown and drew a fat, flat line on a muzzle, that's what you would get. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a very nice story. Yeah, very fun. Wow, Disney 106. It's 106-2, but no more D. And they must have gotten rid of the D labeling at some point. Mm. It's 106-2. I wonder if there's another Bambi book that's 106-1. Mm. It also means this is the second printing. No, this has to do with the numbering. Because hmm. this is the seventh printing. Ooh, a very enjoyable story. Very fun and cute and light with none of the scary stuff that makes you go, uh, do I really have to watch Bambi? I mean, I like it and all, but can we just skip this one part? I don't think I was ever shocked by that particular part of the movie when I was young. I just was like, oh. Yeah, it wasn't so much shock as just... Then you watch enough Disney movies and you just kind of get used to it. Yeah. Uh, right along with the off-screen villain deaths. Or falling, that's very common. Falling. Falling is the most common Disney death because we can't actually have the heroes kill the villains. It also gives the hero an opportunity to try to save the villain and miss. Mm-hmm. Like Tarzan. Clayton stopped swinging the saber around. Ooh, warned you. Mm-hmm. But, anyways, this was Walt Disney's Bambi, Friends of the Forest. And just to give a little credit, I'll go back to the fine print. This story is based on Walt Disney's motion picture of Felix Salton's original story, Bambi, A Life in the Woods. Which we might have to track down. We're not running low on books anytime soon, but maybe I can see if it's at the used bookstore that I go to way too often. It's an excellent place. You could almost say it's almost perfect. I was just hit with a book, ladies and gentlemen. Not the particular book she was just reading. It was a heavier book. <laughs> also, it didn't make contact. I have more respect for books than that. But it happened to be to hand. Attempted book assault. That's a great way to end this episode. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. And this was a very fun book, so we'll see if we can't find you an Amazon link. Or an Amazon link to something else Bambi-related. I think Bambi's in the vault right now, but we can probably come up with something. Like stuffed animals. Mm-hmm. Also, Ebates. That's still a thing. You know, rebates, cashback, shopping at places you already shop at, like Target, Walmart. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Ember's Reading Room or any content on the Lux Analysis channel. Thanks again for listening.